everyone welcome back to this channel with Diveta Prashley and today I'm going to be telling you some English words and some phrases too. Do you know phrases? Phrases are sentences that are pretty short. They're not really really short but they're pretty short. Before we jump into those words please like subscribe and share and hit the notification bell in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? Comment down below. Now let's get started. First, section one is vocabulary. In short, you can also say vocabs. And in Nepali, you can say sabdawali. And the first word is a lot, dheri, many, a big amount or number. He played tennis a lot last year. Do you play tennis or any other games like football, cricket, basketball? Do you play those things? If you play those those things, comment down below. Say yes, I play those things and comment down below what you play. And if you don't play those things, um, you can just comment down below. No, I do not play those things. I dance. See, you can write that too in the comment below. And the next word is about. Lugbug. Roughly, more or less. There are about thousand students in my school you can also say 500 600 you can also say that because it's not like exact 500 it's like more or less like it could be more than 500 or less than 500 you know yeah and the next one is also about because there's two meanings about 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 and it's about and it's barima on the subject of you know, the film is about a small boy. If you're going to the cinema and you are watching a movie and you say the movie is about a small boy or small girl or I don't know anything but yeah, you can also say that. And I was thinking about you. You can also say that I was thinking about you. You can also say that too. And uh, other one is achieve. Safalta prapta garnu succeed. Do you know that? Because you a like you achieved a plus grade in the fifth grade and you're you succeeded in the fifth grade. You know, and it's study hard to achieve a plus grade. Study hard because we have to study hard to achieve a plus grade. You know. Because when you have uh, exams, we have to study to get A plus or A plus plus. You can also get that or an A. And next one is act. Kam garnu. Do. It's all an act. Dream big and act on it. You know? <coughs> Sorry. Absent. Anupastit. Not present. Most students were absent from school. If you have to go to one party or wedding, you have to be absent from your school because it's school time, but you have to be absent because it's really important. You have to go to that party or that wedding or anything because that's more like important. But you don't have to be absent for really long because the party is only for one day or the wedding is for like two or one day, I don't know. Section two. Phrases, Vakyam Saharu, Good morning, Suva Prabhat, Namaskar. You can also say good evening, good afternoon, good night. And if you say good night, it's kind of like goodbye, you know, because you have to go to sleep and you don't have to see that much people. Yeah. And the next one is thank you, Bad. If someone gives you a gift, you say thank you because they just give you that. That's amazing because, yeah, they give you as a gift. You have to say thank you. And the next one is sorry, mouthful. If, if you uh, tripped a girl or a boy in a school by accident and you say sorry. So, yeah. And the next one is... Pardon, maaf karnuhus. Do you like the word pattern? I love the word pattern. It's amazing. The next one is please, kripaya. 
if you need something and your friend or your sister does not give it to you, you say, please, this is important, I need it. You say that, right? You say that in Nepali. And the next one is, I don't know, if someone shows you something and you don't know what is what is this what is what it is and you say I don't know what is this you said that right and the next one is come with me if you have to go to a wedding and your friends uh, invites you but you don't want to go and uh, your other friend just grabs your hand and she or he says come with me to this party to this wedding to this party or wedding you can also say that too and the next one is try it if you get a pen and you just want you, you don't want to try it but your friend says friend or sister or brother says to try it and we try it and it's amazing and you say I tried it and it's amazing. The next one is, are you married? If you see someone in a white dress or in Nepal or Pahar in Kathmandu, you see them like a dule's um, dress, you say, are you married? And the next one is, that's all right, TikTok. If if you spilled uh, someone's coffee by accident, and you say I'm sorry, uh, it's it's, and they say it's all right, TikTok. I'll clean it up. My list of too. They also say that, right? And next one is, you are most welcome. If someone uh, comes to your school and they're like really new, and you say, uh, you are most welcome. You say that. And the next one is what's happening? Keep What's happening? You just you just go to a party and you don't know what's happening there and you say, What's happening? What's happening here? I don't know what's happening here. Keep Go. Okay, that's all it for today and I hope you like this video and don't worry if your English is not improving yet, but I will post some more videos so you can improve your spoken English. Thank you.